Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we are doing a 20 minute shoulder and arm focused workout using some dumbbells. Today I'm keeping it simple and just using a set of 10 pound dumbbells, but please use whatever you have access to at home and whatever suits your strength levels. Make sure you can see your screen so you can follow along with me and without further ado, let's get to it. All right, so today we're working in supersets and we are going to repeat each superset twice before we move on. Your first exercise is just going to be a regular shoulder press, palms facing forward, making sure our elbows are slightly in front of us so that we're protecting our shoulders and we are not fully extending our elbows at the top, keeping a slight bend. Good, we're taking a 20 second rest. Your second exercise in this superset is going to be a rear delt fly. You can do this seated or standing if you don't have something to sit on. You're gonna have your knees bent, leaning over with a nice flat back, and then you're going to open the arms up, palms facing the floor with a slight bend in your elbow, making sure that your hands are not coming above your shoulders. So think about squeezing those shoulder blades together. Nice work, 20 second rest. We're gonna repeat those two before we move on. Here we go, starting off with those presses. Stay nice and grounded in those feet. Have a slight bend in your knees. Think about bracing your core as well. Nice work, taking a quick rest. When you're doing these flies, try to do them controlled versus flinging them up and then coming right back down. You wanna squeeze, hold, and control down. And remember, we're not using momentum here, so sit back into your heels and let those arms do all the work. Nice work. We are moving on to our next superset. Your first exercise is going to be a standing chest fly, and this is also going to work the fronts of our shoulders. So you're gonna stand with your feet staggered, knees slightly bent. You're gonna have your palms facing forward, and arms are gonna start slightly behind you, like so. You're gonna raise the dumbbells up, palms facing the ceiling, bring them together, and control them down.
Nice work. Your second exercise is a side lateral raise. So feet grounded into the floor. Same thing, you're keeping your arms slightly bent and in front of you and hands do not come above the shoulders. Keep them right level. Bringing them up, squeezing, holding and controlling down. Job. Give those arms a shake, quick rest, repeating those two again. So staggered stance, knees bent, get nice and grounded. Try not to use any momentum here. Stay nice and still. Nice job. Here we go, side lat raises. If you find yourself having to use any momentum in this movement, then I want you to go down in weight so that you can stay nice and still and just isolate those shoulders. Nice job. Next exercise, we are going to do some curls. You're gonna hold one arm at 90 degrees, so tucked in tight. The other arm's gonna do three curls. Two, three, hold lower and switch. So three curls on each arm. Keep those elbows tucked in. Nice job. Your second exercise is a narrow shoulder press. So palms are gonna face each other this time. You're gonna press it up. Same thing, we're not extending the elbows here, keeping a slight bend and slowly controlling coming down.
job. Give those arms a shake. Repeating those two. Make sure when you are holding this arm in this curl that it is nice and strong. You don't drop it. It's not up here, it's at 90 degrees. Make sure you're extending all the way at the bottom on these curls. job. Here we go. Narrow shoulder presses. Nice job. Moving on, we are going to do a front raise. I'm gonna do this with one dumbbell. So if you're doing this with one dumbbell, you're holding it like this. If not, you're gonna hold both dumbbells with palms facing your body. You're gonna lift it up and lower, making sure that when we lift it, it's not coming up here and it's not down here. It's just below shoulder height. The only thing that should be moving is your arms. You shouldn't be swinging your body at all to get the dumbbell up. Nice job. Second exercise is a tricep extension. You can do this with two or with one dumbbell. You're gonna have this above your head, holding the dumbbell like so keeping those elbows locked where they are, dropping the dumbbell down, and then squeezing those triceps, pressing the dumbbell all the way up. job one more time. Make sure your shoulders are down, chest is open. Make sure you're controlling that dumbbell down, not just letting it drop. Control it up and down.
job getting ready for tricep extensions. Nice job, one more superset to go. You're gonna need both dumbbells. First exercise, you're going to do a hammer curl to a shoulder press. So palms facing each other, curl, bring it up to the shoulders, press and control down. Elbows are tight to the body. You're extending the arms all the way at the bottom. Nice work. Last exercise, same thing as we did with the rear delt fly. So you're leaning over. This time, palms are gonna face towards your body and you're gonna raise one arm to the side at a time. So right and then left. Try not to open the shoulders as you're doing this. Keep your shoulders parallel to the floor. Good work, one more round. Here we go, elbows tucked, nice and grounded in those feet. Good, one more exercise to go. As you're doing this, really think about squeezing that back. Remember, we're not lifting the arm away up here. Keep it slightly in front of you. Arm is slightly bent. Here we go, last 40 seconds.
is it guys. Great job. I hope you enjoyed this shoulder arm focused workout with dumbbells. If you did, give this video a thumbs up for me and also let me know how you did in the comments. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications so you don't miss another video from me and I will see you guys soon. Bye. If you enjoy my workout videos, then make sure to join me in the MadFit app. You'll get access to structured programs, challenges, exclusive workouts, recipes, and many more amazing features that will help you on your health and fitness journey. If you haven't already downloaded MadFit, make sure to click the link in the description and I will see you guys inside the app.